Hello guys, I'm Moses Odera. I'm a photographer, born and raised in Rongai. I uh, studied at Ongata Primary and also for high school I studied at Nambira Senior in CIA and uh, finished my Form 4 at still in Rongai Senior School. I've had a good relationship with my grandparents and uh, they were no jokes, especially my granddad inspired me to keep on studying and eh, for him it was you have to do a degree or at least you have to have papers before anything and uh, I've done counseling psychology, I've had done a higher diploma and after that I went into business. The name of my company is Shepherds Africa Photography and uh, I've done it since 2018 September. Uh, we major in photography, videography and live streaming services. Now, what inspired me to start photography was that I like being creative. Before I got to do photography, I thought event, event management was my niche and I did a one month crash course. After a while I realized that I wasn't so comfortable in doing that business. I also wanted before, when I was in Form 4, I wanted to do interior design. My granddad was like completely against that. I wanted something that would be lucrative. And uh, I think I pushed that idea way back. So uh, there were two times I had clients and uh, my first two clients had cameras. So they, had, they called me for a gig, I did the gig, I did it and I edited. Actually, I never knew how to edit the pictures. So I went to a friend, he helped me out to do the editing. And uh, <laughs> it was just a, an amazing experience thinking of it. Uh, I didn't have a capital for this business. As I've said, uh, it was, I just started with a friend's camera. And uh, after that, I would, I'd like go hire the camera for a day and uh, return, it, return it in the evening. How I raised my capital, I started with zero capital. I was raising, I was uh, using friend's cameras and uh, it happened that if it was it was it was quite actually challenging because I'd go from uh, Kikuyu to Rongai or Kikuyu to uh, Embakasi just to pick up a camera. That is the day before because maybe you have an early job, so I'd pick it the day before and uh, do the job on the following day and return it after return it on that evening immediately after I finished the job. So you'd find maybe I'd get home way late around 11 or 12. Over, over time I've been able to work on my craft and uh, I just thank God that to this point I have, I have a couple of equipments that are really, are really useful to me and also perhaps as a network of friends to this moment. I focused on building my craft in terms of uh, editing, in terms of uh, the kind of gear I use, the lighting, because you know photography is basically painting with light. And uh, I had to ensure that I'm able to use the equipment that I have efficiently. Uh, talking about next level, uh, photography is basically painting with light. So I had to ensure that I, I, I upped my, I upgraded my game in terms of editing, in terms of the equipment that I use, in terms of how efficient are my skills in regarding photography. So. It's continually learning. To this point, I'm still learning a few things. What are the market trends? What are other people doing in, in order to ensure that uh, I'm at par with perhaps my colleagues, perhaps also what are my colleagues doing and my mentors. When you go for events, I've been able to learn a few skills here and there from maybe colleagues or uh, people that we've worked with, worked with on specific assignments. I've also been able to learn from YouTube, uh, highly from guys like Peter McKinnon, my relationship with customers is something that I work on to be better at every day because uh, it's always my desire to see happy customers, ha happy customer service. I'd refer to hotels because most of the times I go to a hotel and if, if, the, if, there's, if, if there's a slow process, you even get tired. So I also try to make my customer service in terms of, uh, in terms of editing, in terms of how you relate with the customer and also assuring confidence in the, in the client because some of them you may, it's, it could be the first time that you're working with them and uh, it could be through a referral and they expect the best. There are those that wouldn't trust you instantly so you have to gain their trust over time. Some even become, you become their family photographer, you become, it be, it's like a long, long process when, let me, let me, let me use an illustration of, uh, of an engagement for, for, for the past year I've done engagement shoots and weddings and uh, family 
shoot. So you find from the engagement to the uh, from the engagement to the wedding to the moment that they're having having a having having a baby you're, they're having a baby bump, and uh, after that they have now maybe a one year old. And you imagine these are these are these are events these are memorable events in their lives. So you have to capture them. And if you do if you did the, if you did uh, the engagement well it means you'll have the wedding automatically. And uh, that's the process. You have to be good at it from from the beginning because. Uh, you're as good as uh, you're as good as your relationships, and uh, if I, if I'm able to get this to win this client from the onset, I'm also able to get another client. Yeah, I've been able to help my mom on a few occasions, and I'm also able to cater for my bills. And uh, I'm not a burden to anyone at this moment, uh, like 2K urgently. <laughs> I've also been able to mentor. Uh, I've also been able to mentor one videographer and. Uh, Perhaps a few photographers, which is for me that is like that is that is a lot. I've also been able to have successful business deals with other photographers. Uh, as I say, the major challenge I had as I began was having a camera. In 2020, when it was almost coming to a close in December, that's when I purchased my first camera, which is a Nikon. At least that saves me that hiring cost for every, perhaps every shoot. Maybe you have midweek shoots, you have weekend shoots, you have to hire a camera, you have to like, there's also an added, added cost of transport to the location of picking up a camera, maybe a lens. So at least when I had a camera, when I have, when I had a camera of my own, it helps lessen a few costs, make me more efficient and uh, also another challenge is the kind of camera you use as a photographer. So uh, with time I've been able to upgrade on a few, upgrade my camera as well, upgrade on a few lenses and maybe the lighting that I use in my at the workstation. I don't think I've ever thought of closing down in terms of my business in photography. But uh, there are other businesses that I've maybe thought of, I've closed down in, the, in, the, in my journey of in my entrepreneurial journey but uh, when it comes to photography I have kept would I say I've kept the faith <laughs> something that I really like and I enjoy doing so there are those challenges that you have that uh, you get home late you're tired you sleep deprived because you're editing but uh, every morning comes with that with more strength and we just keep on doing it we just keep on doing it you know and uh, I've also had challenges with with uh, with uh, relating with clients sometimes because uh, uh, it's not every client that you come across will that will op will be op will come with open arms. Some may have a lot of doubts, and uh, you have to you have to humble yourself and uh, be be at a position that you can relate to the client as as you just understand them and relate to them openly and uh, just uh, affirm them that you're you're right you're the right person for the job. You know, yes. When COVID hit, it was. It was just it was just a surprise because at that time I was saving to buy an equipment so I had a few savings you know which really helped for me during that season I did a few I did a little shopping and you can imagine I was in the house for four good weeks and I didn't have a single job uh, to do so I'd maybe leave the house once a week just to go to town relax maybe that that was refreshing and maybe in the evening I'd have I'd have an evening walk I also did I also <laughs> that is the only time I've done exercise in my entire life. <laughs> I did consistently. I did it consistently, you know, and uh, I think that was just a moment just to relax. And uh, I think for me the savings really helped. I wasn't apparently I wasn't stressed about anything during that season because it was an it was an issue that was affecting every industry. So we had to adjust during that moment, and uh, maybe perhaps a few. And also during that time, a lot of people were going to uh, the Nairobi National Park, and I'd get a few shoots to. I get I'd get a few shoots to go and uh, take with tour companies, and at least that really helped during that moment. I believe that the business has gone back to normal because uh, events are back, and also family family events are back as well because uh, the, in the continuity of life, there is a child that is born in a family. There are birthdays, and in terms of corporate events, have been ongoing. Uh, even in the midst of COVID, but we just had to maintain uh, maintain the COVID uh, regulations, sanitizing, wearing a mask when you're on the ground, and uh, the spacing also during during while, while you're capturing the event. And also in families, there's a continuity of life, as I said earlier. 
there is a child to be born, there are birthdays to be commemorated, and we have to, we have to capture the memories, you know? Yeah. An ideal environment is when I am happy and the client is happy while capturing the, the event till the close of business, when you deliver the images or maybe an album and the client is really happy. Uh, I desire to get into real estate to tell the mood of the interior, interior spaces and the exterior so that it can be easier for their clients also to purchase their product and uh, also to be more in the corporate space, capturing events. My desire for the young entrepreneurs is to start with what you have, use what you have to get where you can. Because uh, myself, as I said earlier, I started with nothing. I, I can say I started with friends, with, with hiring cameras from friends. So uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have anything. I started with everything was borrowed, <laughs> nothing on my own. So just start with what you have. Be consistent because uh, there's nothing that comes out of inconsistency. So keep on keeping on. You'll never be prepared enough to start a business in terms of resources, capital, networks. But once you start, I think, I, think uh, I believe that things fall into place one by one. So you just, it's just starting. If it's maybe farming in a particular uh, big, uh, big, maybe hectares of land, uh, you can start with a small acre and see how it goes. And gradually now you can utilize the whole space because after maybe using a small portion of what you have, you can be able to understand how the business, you can be able to understand how the business goes. You can also understand the receptiveness of clients and uh, also that is also determined by the location. And uh, yeah, so when you understand how the business goes, you're able to implement, to adjust accordingly and implement uh, maybe a few regulations and get it, get it done. We are Shepherds Africa Photography. We provide photography, videography, and live streaming for your events. It could be any kind of event. It could be a corporate event, family event. We are here to capture the memories. We are here to tell the stories. We are here to captivate your audience. Our social media handles are Shepherds Africa with a K, photography, on Instagram and Facebook. You can find me on uh, 0725-723-134. Thank you Prayer Cave TV for this great opportunity. Thank you for watching the show. It is dubbed My Source.